Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about create subcategories. So let's see how can we create subcategories. First of all, let's create a model and migration for subcategories. So switch to the command prompt and for creating the model, just type here the command php artisan make colon model a space model name which is subcategories sub category and for creating the migration just add here task m now press enter okay model and migration created now switch to the project and let's open the migration so just go inside the database directory then migration and from here let's open this one create subcategories migration okay and inside this migration let's add here some columns so right here dollar table arrow data type string and column name name another column right here dollar table arrow a string and column name slug dollar table arrow big integer and column name category id and also set here unsigned unsigned and the label okay now set here the foreign key with categories table so right here dollar table arrow for uh, foreign and uh, add here the column name category id this one now references and uh, set here the column id in categories table okay so right here table name on categories categories table okay categories and uh, arrow on delete cascade All right, now save this migration. Now let's migrate this migration. So switch to the command prompt and uh, uh, just type here the command php artisan migrate. Okay, now press enter. Migration done. Now run the application. So write here php artisan serve. Okay, now switch to the project and uh, just close this migration. Now let's open the admin add category component uh, view file. So just go inside the resources directory, then views, live wire, admin. And from here, let's open this one admin add category component dot dot php file. And uh, inside this file, you can see here, this is the input text field for category name. And this is for category slug. Now let's create another field here. So Let's copy this and uh, add here the text parent category. Okay, parent category. Now just remove this input text field and uh, also remove this one. And now add here the select control. So, right here, select and class form dash control okay and uh, also add here input dash md all right now here add one option value is equal to blank and default option which is none okay so set here the text none now let's open the admin add category component class file. So just go inside the app directory, then HTTP live wire admin. And from here, let's open this one admin add category component.php file. 
okay and inside this file just go inside the render method and here let's fetch all the category so first create here dollar categories is equal to model name category colon colon all okay now let's return this categories to the component review file so here add comma then big bracket categories arrow dollar categories okay now save this file now go to the view file and here after this let's add here the forage directive so write here forage then categories as dollar category and inside this let's add here the option value is equal to double curly bracket dollar category arrow id and uh, here just display the category name okay so add a double curly bracket then dollar category arrow name all right now save this file now let's check this form so switch to the browser and just refresh the page all right now we just click on add new and here you can see the parent category select control okay and these are the categories all right now switch to the project and uh, go to the class file and here let's create uh, property so right here public dollar category id category underscore id okay now let's copy this property name and uh, go to the view file and inside the select control let's bind so right here wire colon model is equal to category id okay now uh, inside this class file inside this store category method after this validation let's add here if dollar this arrow if category id then uh, just write here dollar is category is equal to new subcategory okay and then dollar s category arrow name is equal to dollar this arrow name and dollar s category arrow slug is equal to dollar this arrow slug all right now let's uh, let's store the category id so right here is category arrow category underscore id is equal to dollar this arrow category id okay now let's call here the save method so right here is category arrow save okay and uh, if this category is not available uh, it means empty or null then inside the else part let's cut this line and paste inside this else part okay now save this file Now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and now let's create a parent category okay so right here category name uh, let's say category name is electronics okay and parent category none now click on submit you can see here category has been created now let's open all category in new tab 
and you can uh, see here electronics okay new categories now let's create uh, a parent category so let's add here just refresh the page and uh, enter the category name subcategory name uh, which is laptop now select the parent category and select electronics now click on submit and you can see category created okay one more uh, let's create one more subcategory so write here mobile okay parent category electronics this one now click on submit and you can see category created okay now let's check this so go to the php my admin so just write here localhost php my admin now let's open the database which is laravel 8 e-commerce tv this one now let's browse the categories table and uh, sub categories table okay this one and uh, inside the categories table you can see only electronics okay and these categories and inside the sub categories table you can see here the laptop and mobile and inside the category id the id is seven which is for electronics okay so in this way you can create subcategories in next tutorial we will see how can display uh, here inside the table category with subcategories okay so that's all about create subcategories so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.